just got to check on the stream real quick. Okay, we are live. All right, we got to wait a couple minutes for the spectator delay because if we didn't wait, I would be able to see like the entire map in real time, which would be completely unfair because I could be able to inform whichever team as the other team's whereabouts. Gotta take off my jacket. All right, let's get to it. All right, it, um, okay, it looks like Forsyth has a couple of, uh, Landers that are out of position, um, unless it is, unless it is a zillion Udi or bot lane, which I have personally never seen before, and maybe Jarvan and Cassidy are f switched because Cassidy has teleport and Nasus does as well, but I am rather confused right now. Um, never actually done this before. Not everybody's everybody's spawning in. Okay, so Jarvan. It looks like yes, Jarvan is starting Raptors. So Jarvan is going jungle. That was kind of confusing because they're out of position. But both sides are guarding their respective sides of the jungle. And oh, I, they're hoping for a good leash.
could there be any gauge bit going on in the mid, in the river, I mean? Um, doesn't look like it. Nico starting red buff. Jarfin also starting red. Because he can get um, raptors sooner. Does not look like Jarvan is kiting anything. But he's a. Jarvan is a pretty beefy character. Is he going for. Okay, he is going for raptors. Oh, no, he's going for wolves. That's confusing. Um, off to a good start up in the uh, top lane. Um, Udyr is a little bit pushed up. But. Nasus is relatively weak during the early game, so that's to be expected. Ooh, Ezreal down in the bot lane is almost dead. It may just take one good engagement to get first blood on the bot lane. Mid Every lane is pretty heavily going into George Walton's favor. It doesn't seem Cassidy can do much of anything against Aaron's assault in the mid lane. Um, as far as CS goes, um, everybody's dead even as of right now, except the bot lane. Aaron getting ganked in the mid. Or wait, is... Yeah, it is Aaron. Okay, I thought I um, mistook the um, two people's names, but no, Aaron is playing mid and Robert is playing top. So I apologize for any confusion that may have caused. You're getting some good poke up in the top right now. Nasus just needs to sit back and farm for a while. But Nasus, Nasus is struggling on, and we, and I missed first blood. Aaron gets first blood on the mid lane with his, like, almost famous Draven. And it looks like Cassidy's gonna have to burn his teleport to get back mid. We're doing doing solid down in the bot lane too. Oh, blue team double kill. Huh. That sucks. Right, Udir is two kills up. Doesn't that's not really somewhere anybody wants to be. But it, the game is still young, so there are there will be plenty of opportunities to bring it back. Ooh, we're getting a solid engagement down on the bot lane. Ooh. Zillion almost dying. He has just a sliver of health left. It's like Nasus is using this opportunity under tower to get as much farm as he can. Stack up his Q, let it have more damage. It is a massacre already in the mid lane. Cassidy just can't do anything, it would appear. Nico looks like she's about to go for the Rift Scuttle. Or a gank, even. Nah, nothing. Jarvan has no buffs, but it looks like he's... Looks like maybe he's going top for a gank? He probably is just getting the Rift Scuttle on this side. Nasus is getting pretty heavily pushed off. He can't really deal with Udyr's early game uh, aggression. But he is getting some good stuff under tower. He's getting some... Aaron is running low on mana, but with his ult and a couple and probably a couple auto attacks, he can take down Cassidy. 
Oh, but it looks like a gank is coming in from Jarvan and Udyr. It looks like Aaron's about to escape, though. A three-man gank this early is very indicative of Aaron's skill as a laner. Oh, he's about to get the execute so he can get... All right, that was smart. He was able to get the execute right there. So the enemy team would not get the gold for killing him, and he was in a pretty tight spot right there, so it doesn't look like he could have gotten out. All right, a little bit of, little, little bit of a disadvantageous time in the bot lane, but Alistair's, um, Alistair's healing and his just sheer amount of CC will, uh, well, they're recalling. That's smart. It looks like there's a confrontation in the top lane jungle for the red buff. All right. Looks like Udyr took the buff from Hank down there. It's got to sting a little bit. We're having a bit of a rough time in the top lane, too. We are, however, not too behind in gold. We, um... While Nasus is a bit behind, well, he is very behind as of right now in gold, we can see that... Okay, just need to do a little bit of reorganizing here. All right, we can see that the bot lane is doing a little bit better in means of CS. Top lane is very close. The jungle is very close. The um, Aaron is just running away with the mid lane. Once Nasus gets his feet under him, he'll be much better off, but the first few levels are just hard. Haven't even broken 10 minutes, and we already have three kills on the blue side. This is a very inventful game. Bot lane is just laying low for right now. Oh, no. A very... Oh, missed, missed his ult. Julian just narrowly dodging out of the way. Both bot laners getting out just barely with their lives. A double kill this early would not be very good. Nika going for Raptors. Good demonstration of wave clear. All right, it's, it's still a bit too early to get the dragon right now, but that is a mountain drake, so that extra true damage against towers and monsters will help in the long run. Looks like Nico Hank got a kill at one point. On on Cassidy must have been a gank mid lane. All right, a kill for a kill for Julian down in the bot lane. Oh, ganking top. Let's see if they can make anything out of this. Nico does have a root, and oh, Nico ults and just gets it. That's good. That's a good momentum shift for the mid lane. Or the top lane, rather. Ezreal's by himself down here. He's pushed up to his... Pushed down to his tower right now. Good poke from Kaisa. Ooh... Aaron almost brought a 2v1 out, but Jarvan just barely survived it. 
the blue side does not want Aaron to get as far ahead as he does sometimes. As far as game stats goes, neither team has gotten a turret yet, but it would appear that red side has much higher gold, which almost a little under 2,000 um, difference between them. Looks like Hank's Nico is doing pretty well, having a 2-1 KD, and very heavily out farming the uh, enemy Jarvan. Ooh. Udyr made the mistake of trying to tower dive a full health Nasus. He put himself on equal footing right now, and with Nasus' ult, he may just be able to get a lot of mileage off of it. He may be able to solo kill. But the health, the lifesteal from Turtle Stance is a lot to overcome. Aaron getting ganked again. What can he make out of it? Ooh, just barely getting the Cassidy. All right, looks like looks like red side is going to try and make something happen right here. The blue jungler is nowhere to be seen down here, so it looks like they would have free reign. Oh, looks like red side. Oh, red side isn't going to dragon. Now is about the time teams normally would start to dragon, or try to kill the dragon. So eventually, we can maybe see a um, confrontation there. Most teams are do it going as normal, but it looks like Hank disguised himself as Draven, Aaron's character, and is trying to get a gank. Oh, a counter gank from Jarvan coming in, getting getting quickly getting rid of Hank and pulling up the two kills on top lane. The kills are even right now, and Jarvan is popping off right now, going 3-0. Ooh, Aaron almost gets the kill. Mid lane. He may be able to ult and take down. Nah. He didn't have vision of him. Just one more favorable engagement in the mid lane, and Aaron will pick him, pick up his fourth kill of the game. Oh yeah, and that did it. Draven gets extra gold from kills, so he is doing unbelievably better than the enemy mid lane just because his Draven has so much harass. Nasus is up here making his way back, trying to get some extra trying to get some extra CS. He's building Iceborne Gauntlet, which has a um, slow effect on his auto attacks, which is good to uh, have that extra sticking power as Nasus. Okay, it looks like red team is trying to go for the blue buff. Zillion's coming in, and red team is able to smite and get the dragon. This will give them more damage against the towers. All right, Kaisa gets a kill on the Zillion. Is she going to get another? Oh, no, Z Jarvan comes in. Jarvan comes in, ults. Ezreal ults, takes down. Nico comes in. She can probably make good work of this engagement. All right, George Walton comes out, comes out of that trade 2-1.
Ooh, Robert ulting in the top lane. He has his Q stacked, and with Spellblade, he is able to deal a ton of damage to the Udyr. And he pulls up a solo kill against Udyr. It is turning into, even having two less kills, it is turning into Nasus's game up in the top lane. And he has a tower down. George Walton is doing very well right now. They have three. They have three more kills, and they have three thousand more gold. This is looking like a George Walton snowball. Cassidy trying to get out of there. Not enough against Draven though. Draven is building mostly attack damage and lifesteal. Zillion ults gets a resurrect. I'm not sure if it's going to mean anything, though. Ooh, Julian gets under the tower and takes tower aggro and loses because of that. Ooh. Aaron gets taken down from a 3v1. Their Jarvan is on a four kill streak. Then they're, they're going to need to shut him down if they want that gold. Oh, it looks like they're doing the Rift Herald. This will help them dramatically in getting turrets. Looks like Hank, however, is coming down to get some of them off of our mid lane turret. Ooh, takes out a gets a kill in a 3v1 situation. Ooh, gets gets a little bit too thirsty there. Oh, Kaisa picks up another. Gets taken down by Ezreal. Red has acquired the Rift Herald. And it looks like this is about to be a full team fight. With who's up, who, with who's left at least. Ooh, Aaron is able to get a lot of good damage off on the Zillion and takes him out immediately before the fight even starts. This is a solid push on Red Side's behalf. They are gonna need they are gonna need to take out this turret because it's gonna be easier to take out than the second. Have all three lanes equally pushed is very important means of pressure. Ooh, Austin's getting caught out by the Udyr and Jaravan. He's able to pull a lot of aggro, but Alistair does not have enough damage output to deal with that. All right. All right, a solid ult from Jarvan and Ezreal. That seems to be like one of their bread and butter combos. Jarvan ulting so they can't move, and then Ezreal getting the ult on. Kind of a rough fight for George Walton. Let's see if Nico can make anything out of this. All right, gets one kill. Ooh. All right, almost a team wipe for George Walton. Almost a team wipe on George Walton, excuse me. It's like the teams are resetting back to neutral. George Walton still does have the tower and gold advantage. So, but not, they are, it looks like they're not going to have the tower advantage for long because of all the pushing that red can do off of that. Austin's trying to get vision of the Cloud Drake. And it looks like Blue Side is going to try and take it. All right, Aaron, Aaron dropping in, immediately taking out the Zillion. Looks like Red Team is going to get this unless they can do something clutch on the Blue Side. Ooh, that was super close with the Ezreal ult. He almost last hit it. But sadly, well, a little bit too late. All right, it looks like, okay, red is going in on blue. Blue was able to 
avoid the initial assault. Doesn't look like anybody used their ultimate move, though. All right, they're just kind of playing footsies right now. But the trend is in Red's favor. Draven's about to get jumped by Udyr coming down from above him. Not sure if just Udyr will be enough, though. Okay, uses his ult so he can get the end. Not even a problem for Draven. All right, they spawned the Rift Herald in the mid lane. Look, this turret is going to go down very quickly. 22 minutes and already down to a Nexus tur or a inhibitor turret is very good pacing for George Walton's side. They got another they got another hit out of the Rift Herald somehow. Most of most of blue side is dead right now. They only have Ezreal. Well, actually, only Ezreal is alive. Looks like Nasus Robert is thirsty for that Ezreal. But they're going to instead get a second inhibitor. They're trying to harass the red side off of the off of the inhibitors, but we are they already got two of them. The gold difference is just getting greater and greater. Almost 6,000 difference between the two teams. And eight turrets to two on the red side. I won't jinx it, but this game is looking pretty cut and dry to me right now. Red is trying to rally, get rid of some of the vision, get them pushed out of their base. There is no there is no blue side vision on Baron, so Red could very well try and get the Baron Nasher right now to maybe end the game. It is a little bit early though. Baron Nasher is normally taking about 30 minutes. Alright, as far as kill death ratios go, um Draven on the red side is doing the best with nine and six. He's on a kill streak right now. Okay. Draven tries to ult. Doesn't quite get much mileage off of it. But Kaisa is very low right now. Okay, Draven's about to take out the Zillion, who gets caught out a little bit too thirsty for that, and gets completely bodied by the enemy team. Nobody on red side is really here right now. This just lets the uh, blue team have their way with them. Yeah, red side, both of the red side carries weren't really there to have that happen. Hank misses his ult. Going across, does he have, he does have, okay, they were able to push off blue team from the Baron Nasher, so not too much came out of that. Oh, the, the Winions actually got past me too. They, their Nexus has no defenses on it right now. They're trying desperately to get them off, but the uh, blue team is kind of in a death spiral right now, especially since red is getting the Baron Nasher. Looks like it'll be largely uncontested, except for that Ezreal, but it was much too early. Red team has taken the Baron Nasher. This will give them a huge buff to their pushing power, and this may be the final nail in the coffin. Six and a half thousand gold ahead, Red is. It looks like they're about to take another dragon, the Infernal Dragon, getting a little bit more damage. Red is trying to push up out of their base. If 
if red side groups up and probably if red side groups up with baron nasher and no um like anything left in their base the only thing they have left is their top lane tower inhibitor but besides that um like red side could just back door and get the win that way red side is probably just trying to finish out um finish out a couple build items um draven aaron is almost full build right now Austin is 0-3 and 6, but he's a, he's a support. So those six assists were pivotal in getting the red team where they are right now. All right. Looks like H Hank as Nico is trying to, was trying to get a little bit across the way right there. All right. Both teams are all the way there. Zillion is at half health, but... Ezreal gets off a combo and completely destroys Kaisa. Hank misses his ult, gets caught out for it. All right, Jarvan goes down, but is resurrecting. Nasus takes takes on a ton of damage. It's only Nasus left. Doesn't look like he can do anything off of this. Blue team gets an ace. Red loses Baron. Could this be a comeback? The red side is only dead for about for about twenty more seconds average. What is wrong with this camera right now? Blue team is able to get two towers off of this. Red team is only 1,000 gold ahead of blue now. It had a very, very solid lead. Um, like, the red team still has enough... Red's team still has enough gold in the right places to make part of the to make a good this out of this game but they just need to uh they just need to probably work on their positioning a little bit they're all grouped up in the middle again let's see if they can do it this time the gold difference is about 600 now not too much at all These teams are neck and neck in means of gold. But red team GWA does have three does have three dragons up. So that may just be the tiniest bit of push that they need right now. Nasus is top lane getting a little bit more farm and backdooring just to keep split pushing pressure. But everybody on the blue team is down mid. It's turning to a 4v5 fight. Austin comes in trying to take down. Kaisa is able to get out of there, but just too much damage on, on blue side. And it looks like they're about to get another ace, save for Nasus up top lane. NASA split split pushing right there would have been a good idea, but he doesn't have a doesn't he doesn't have teleport up, and he couldn't get into the fight if it broke out. It looks like looks like blue team's about to take an inhibitor, their first inhibitor of the game, but it looks like they're snowballing very very heavily. This game is going to be closer than most of us thought. Blue team pulls ahead in gold just by a little bit, but the amount of, oh they're about to take the they're about to take the infernal Drake. 
Yeah, no, Red was not able to contest that. Red side just made a few critical errors. It looks like they're trying to take the Baron Nasher again, though. This will make her... This engagement... looks like Blue is recalling. This engagement can make or break the game. Looks like they're all kind of tiptoeing around it. They don't know what to do. All right, mid lane is probably trying to group up mid again. But red red does have vision, but not for long. Blue is going to try and take the Baron off of this. Looks like it's going to be a fight, fight for the Baron. Whoever wins this engagement and gets the Baron will probably be winning this game. NASA's trying to get the pressure off the mid lane a little bit. Ooh. Aaron is Darius is getting a little bit of poke on Jarvan. Ooh, Aaron Aaron's going in. He is a little he's a little bit thirsty for that right now. He probably needs to play a little bit more conservatively or he's going to get caught out. Ooh, Ezreal misses his W. A good thing. A good thing of it, because Nico would have been deleted if that had gone through. All right, Ezreal gets a combo off on Draven, taking his health down a little bit, but Draven put his health down the same amount. It just looks like a little bit of poking right now. Looks like red overall has the tiniest bit more health. Nasus has Ezreal's ring around him. Does not proc it in time. All right, Nico gets the root off. Gets a little bit more damage on the mid lane. On the blue team. Ooh, Draven gets off another auto attack. They engage, they engage on Jarvan. Hank lands his ult, takes out most of the team. Jarvan revives, takes down Aaron. Nico falls. We still have a full health. The full health, the full health Udir was painful. But Nas is about to ult and take both of these guys down, maybe. Kaisa is not comfortable enough with the little health she has to go in right now. All right, maybe Kaisa can push him off. She's able to get she's able to get Jarvan off for a second there, but they get the ace, and it looks like this is gonna be the end. No, it's the end of the game. A astonishing comeback from Blue Side. We will be right back with round two.